Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at Terraform init. So it initializes your Terraform project by downloading plugin dependencies, so providers and modules, creating a .terraform directory, so that's a hidden directory, and creating a dependency lock file to enforce expected versions for plugins in Terraform itself. So on the right-hand side here, we can see we have that hidden directory, um, but also notice here that we have a .terraform lock.htl, that is our dependency lock file, uh, and so our dependencies are all gonna end up uh, within this um, see where it says providers, so that's the provider version there, okay? So Terraform init is generally the first command you will run for a new Terraform project. If you modify or change dependencies, run Terraform init again to have it apply the changes. You need to know that for the exam because they will absolutely ask you that. Uh, the first command here is, uh, and these are ones with flags, so you can just do Terraform init, but we have some extra options. So Terraform init hyphen upgrade, upgrade all plugins to the latest version that complies with the configuration version constraint. Terraform init hyphen get plugins, uh, uh, and I think it's supposed to be uh, equals false there, but skip plugin installation. Terraform init plugin hyphen dir equals pass, so force plugin installation to read plugins from only target directory. And then we have Terraform init hyphen lock file. So you can change the lock file mode. It actually doesn't say what the modes are, so I don't even know what you do in that case. And I could not find any examples, but it is an option. Uh, I just want to uh, make it very clear that there is a dependency lock file, but there's also a state lock file. And the way you know that they're different is that one has dot lock in it and the other one has dot tf state. This one up here is for dependencies. This one, of course, is for state. A Terraform init does not create a state lock file. That is going to happen when you do a Terraform apply, okay?